Hello, in this uh, short video <clears throat> I will try to show you the modification of the LNA for all for the transmission mode using the bias T from the Hacker F. So you can uh, power supply the LNA for, for all through the Hacker F using the uh, option on the Hacker F. On the reception mode this is quite easy because uh, you have the um, place on the LNA for all where you can uh, just insert the SMD coil and uh, this can be done fairly easily but for the transmission mode the there is no place for the for the SMD coil and everything should be done uh, a dead bug style so uh, this is a small modification where I added the the SMD inductor on the input side of the preamplifier. Uh, moreover, I'm using the um, modified uh, ADSB filter using just the bias T modification. So I insert the power through the through the cracks. Uh, I'm using uh, for the test purposes 145 megahertz. The level is minus five, minus five dBm. Going to the bias T input to the to the amplifier LNA for all and the output is going to the power meter uh, 80 mil 83 milliwatts okay if I go up to let's say uh, let's say 0 dBm 0 dBm I have 182 milliwatts I can go plus 1 22.7 uh, 190 milliwatts. Uh, this is more or less the saturation point, the maximum power output you can have on on 45, 190 milliwatts. Not bad. Uh, if we if we change to let's say uh, 435 megahertz, uh, 1 dBm output will give us uh, 22 dBm approximately 100. Uh, 60 milliwatts. We can go a bit higher. Let's say, yeah, plus 2 dBm is uh, P1 dB. Let's say saturation point 22 dBm, 160 milliwatts more or less on uh, 435 megahertz. So, <clears throat> with a small modification, I'm usually not doing the modification for the guys asking, but this one was. Uh, was really interesting one. So the LNA for all in transmission mode for the hacker F powered through the hacker F bias T. And here is the modification of the ADSB filter just for the bias T option. So no filter at all powering the preamplifier through the through the coaxial cable. 9A4 Quinn Victor, thank you.